took place at Pokhran in 1974 and made the world sit up and take notice of our nuclear capabilities. Pakistan started its own covert nuclear program right away in retaliation. RAW came to know of this and brought back physical evidence, which resulted in Pakistan supposedly abandoning the attempt to become nuclear capable, at least for a few years. Mission Majnu, which states at the outset that it is inspired by true events, tells the tale of how Pakistan's first attempt at being a nuclear power was halted in its tracks. Tari Kali Amandeep Singh Siddharth Malhotra is a raw agent working undercover as a tailor in Pakistan. He develops a crush on the blind daughter, Nasreen Rashmika Mandanna, of one of the relatives of his boss and they soon get married. She's supposedly his cover but he soon develops genuine feelings for her. He's contacted by his handlers to find evidence of Pakistan's nuclear program and with the help of other deep agents, played by Kumud Mishra and Shareeb Hashmi, starts piecing the puzzle together bit by bit. Unlike James Bond, however, he doesn't storm the site with an arsenal at his disposal. His job is only to gather proof and somehow send it to India. How he does so forms the crux of the film. The film embraces a documentary-like approach towards narration. So be prepared for mushroom clouds as seen in the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings, as well as footage of park leaders and scientists. Pakistan has been a volatile democracy and the coup by General Zia and the usurping of Prime Minister Bhutto is also depicted in the film. The film is an intelligent mix of fact and fiction. The spies depicted in the film aren't superheroes but mere mortals who are painstakingly gathering information after years of deep infiltration. And the information, more often than not, comes through chance, rather than the use of any high-tech wizardry. Yes, being a commercial film, there are a couple of action sequences that look over the top but the makers can be forgiven for adding a bit of masala here. The best thing about Mission Majnu is that it's not jingoistic. Indians aren't shown badmouthing Pakistan and our neighbors in turn aren't cursing India for all the woes that have befallen them. There's a scene where an old lady offers tea to the hero and blames the partition on the British, saying we're reaping the ill-gotten fruits of their divide and rule policy even now. The agents do their jobs without being overly patriotic. There's a backstory to Tari. His father is shown to be a traitor who sold state secrets to Pakistan and later killed himself and he's shown to be grappling with those emotional wounds. But the melodrama is kept to the minimum here. Though he's a spy schooled in not being emotionally involved with people, Tariq's love for his wife and unborn child is genuine and one roots for him to get them to safety. Zakir Hussain is shown as a foul-mouthed handler who breaks every rule of spycraft by making his assets speak his real name. This kind of jars in a film which pretends to replicate the lives of real spies. Kumud Mishra and Shareeb Hashmi have lent able support to the proceedings and their quirky personalities add a color to the film. This was supposed to be Rashmika Mandanna's Hindi debut. Due to delays, that honor went to goodbye. She's beautiful no doubt and her depiction of a blind girl totally in love with her husband is spot on. Her best scene happens when both she and Siddharth remember Dharmendra's performance from Shole. She shares a definite chemistry with him and they look like a much in love couple, who'd have lived a happy life together in much peaceful times. Siddharth Malhotra has played a patriot before in Shisha 2021 though the two characters aren't cast in the same mold. He looks the part of a deep cover agent doing his duty in a distant land, fully knowing the consequences of his actions. He immerses himself in the character convincingly and barring some scenes, doesn't give in to being a star, contending himself to be a performer instead. The film has plenty of twists and turns to offer and it, S.A. wonder why instead of releasing it in theatres, the makers opted for an OTT release. Mission Majnu is based on a true story about an Indian agent who marries a Pakistani woman. He tries his best to stay out of the watchful eye of the government or police and finds peace in swing. The film explores history repeating itself because the same cycle of events continues to happen. It's hard to break the process if you're born into a broken system. It is an important true story that could have been executed in a more engaging way. We review the Netflix film Mission Majnu which does not contain any significant spoilers. When countries are at war with each other, sometimes people lose sight of humanity and the love that is found in the community. No matter the background or the religion, there must be some balance to live in unity. It is said to have an emotional tie because of the relationship and the fact they are from two different backgrounds. So Bhagji also poses the question if love can conquer all in the face of adversity.
then as we meet the love interests it becomes wholesome and sweet the family dynamic is the most interesting aspect at first because her father doesn't want her to marry the tailor she doesn't care about his occupation so she does marry him in spite of what her father said once she